And throughout the whole time I was with him, you know, I was always there with him, you know. But I noticed he would be on Facebook. And I noticed that, you know, with social media, people, they're at weddings and they're checking in on Facebook. You know, well, <laughs> you're there to celebrate someone else's union. Mm -hmm. You're there, uh, you know, it's okay to check in, but do all these little updates, I think that's a little, a bit much. Because you're removing the sanctity of a very private and a very spiritual moment. It doesn't necessarily have to be religious, but it's spiritual in the, in the sense that it's like, you know, you're celebrating someone else's life. Whether mm -hmm. it's a birthday, a wedding, a funeral. And being there in the moment is important because you want to respect another person's being. Well, well on that. that. We're not anymore as, as present because with all of the access that we do have to... Twitter and Facebook and texting. I mean, I, I know I mentioned this last time. Um, it's it's crazy when you see kids and, and families not listening to each other, not paying attention to each other, and they're more involved with their their work or their texting or their Twitter or their Facebook than they are with each other. And I feel like that's a huge huge problem in today's society. We've lost, so then, okay. I'm sorry. We've lost the art of being personal. Being being together. Yeah. And yeah, being so totally well, lost the of, of personal time. Yeah. Personal nothing is personal anymore. No, I thought I was actually yeah. my everything mom. is Yeah, you know, yeah. out in the media, everything you, you even if you want to keep it private it doesn't matter because the next person yeah. found out about it and the next thing you know it's on the internet. Well it's scary though. You know, I mean it's it's like this is what happened, you know, why did technology or, or how, did tech, how did we allow technology to, to continue to think for ourselves? We're the humans, we're the intelligent ones. Well, that's just like my mom was saying not too long ago. We were having this conversation. And she was said, you know, when I was your age, if I wanted to, say, talk to a boy, I would have to personally go up to him and <laughs> say, Hi, <laughs> my name's Laura. <laughs> <It's not true. laughs> and, or, or I would have to pass him a note or I would have to get somebody to pass him, somehow there's there's personal connection. Right. Now I can zip a message to a boy that I've never met on Facebook. We can sit there and have conversation conversation over texting for three weeks. We can go out on a date and literally be sitting there like You can poke him. <laughs> like, literally. Like, like people don't know how to communicate anymore. That's right. They don't know how to communicate because they're too busy poking each other. There's, a, there's something in, uh, in Time in the Soul that says, he says, but it's necessary to realize that technology itself is not the cause of our problem of time. Mm -hmm. The result is the result of an unseen accelerating process yeah. taking place in our lives, in our inner being. And I think that, I think that's completely true. Like, we kind of let, like, Sort of what you're saying, Linda, is that it kind of like overtook us, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. But we're it's like the hierarchy, like we're at the top of the food chain here. Right. Like, what the heck, you know? Like, how are we allowing this to run our lives? And it, it's frustrating to me too because it's like nothing's organic anymore. You know, we we're missing the, or, the organic. Like, I can't just I can't sit here and have a conversation with you. You know, if you're okay, you're a guy. I, like you're saying, I can't sit here and like be like, oh, hi, it's like, okay, now we have to play the game, you know, let me get your Twitter, let me look at your Facebook pictures <laughs> let first, your Instagram. Let, me see, let me see your Instagram, let's creep. you know, let's, you know, let's text for a couple weeks, you know, cool, you'll you'll never have texting. one phone call, yeah, you'll never have one phone call, you, you, get you can learn all this stuff anymore. without ever asking any questions, without ever, and it's, 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 okay, yeah, in some way or form, yeah, that's great that you can learn about something, I don't think it's great to learn about someone that way. No, and it's, it's not because... And it's become more of learning about someone through technology and through social media than learning about someone personally. Right. Because honestly, like, if you look at somebody's Facebook, like, if you looked at my Facebook, you would think I'm some kind of, like, crazy party animal. And honestly, I'm really not. Like, but that's the only time I ever take pictures, you know? Like, you don't, you can't learn about somebody through Facebook. You can't. You have to learn about somebody through being with them and speaking with them. And I think that's where a lot of people mess up is because they rely on Twitter and Instagram and Facebook to really get to know somebody. You know, when, when I mean, I'll speak. Honestly, so we're casting judgment. Honestly, I mean, when I meet a new guy, I'll be like on his Facebook saying like, okay, creeping back to like three years ago. Like, who is this person? When that's, that's really not right, you know? Mm -hmm. I think one really important thing that I guess made me think when Alex was talking about this was um, 
we're so willing to put our lives on there. And it's not just checking other people's updates. There are people that put every single movement of every single day on their Twitter. Yeah. Oh my gosh. And there, where's, where's the privacy in your life? Where do you have a you moment where people just don't know about it? Well, see, this is what's crazy is that, like, that can be the space. Every time you go to tweet or check your Facebook, mm -hmm. you know, we're missing that space in our lives where we can just sit and be. You know, like, we don't really sit and be anymore. Mm -hmm. So but just cancel out of Twitter and take a moment. You don't I'm have saying, to. Take the two minutes that you were going to do to tweet okay. and just... I don't think you have to cancel out of social media because I mean, we're engaging in technology to spread our, our, our message, our word, you know, that it, you know... I think just set it aside for a moment. Mm -hmm. You know, I do it. I'm a web designer. I'm a web developer and entrepreneur. You know, and I'm always active in the digital realm. I take time throughout the day, step outside, work on the yard, work on my composting. <laughs> you know, do something that's the complete <laughs> color. <guy>. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, because I make it out of coffee grounds and all this other stuff. But you know, I I, I do it on purpose because I I want to be present in the moment and I want to remember, hey. The sun is out. It's beautiful outside. I want to see the fruits of my labor. Mm -hmm. I want to see my dreams mm -hmm. growing. I want to see bell peppers. I want to see everything. I want to experience life. I want to have a, even if it's a five minute conversation with my mom or dad about what's going on in their lives and, and not have it involve any of those things. You know, then if I feel like up to it, yeah, I'll, be, I'll jump back in it. There's nothing wrong with Twitter, Facebook, mm -hmm. Google Plus. Right. These are all great methods of expression, excuse me. Um, what they do lack is a level of intimacy associated with personal communication. Um, like when she was mentioning, um, and Jazz mentioning about uh, meeting guys, you know, it's, the, it's always been like that within the gay community. There's a missing level of intimacy within um, the different me methods of communication. And I found best that you really do communicate with someone in person because they see your being. Yeah. They get to marvel in the mystery, the awe, the wonder. Mm -hmm. Who is this person? Mm -hmm. Why am I attracted to them? Mm -hmm. I'm not attracted to them because of Facebook. I'm attracted to them because they have their certain je ne sais quoi. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's, just, it's just fantastic. I mean, even as a friend, with me and you guys for the first time, I'm experiencing that. I'm in, I'm in awe, I'm in wonder, like, who are these people? What am I sharing? And it's like, you know, I want to step back and say, Okay, let me suck it all in. <laughs> yeah. And I just want to point out something really important that you said that strengthened what I was saying. You were saying that you take a break from Twitter and all the social networks to do your thing. Where the problem in the society right now is they're taking time from their personal time to Twitter. And they have it exactly reversed of how it should be. I think because we've been trained to always be connected, to always be doing something, to not be <laughs> doing something, to, you know, those notes in between spaces. It's seen as a waste of time, seen as a waste of creativity, mm -hmm. seen as a waste of energy. But it's not. When you know, when you meditate, you're not. It's a total opposite. The whole point of meditation is to clear your head, see where your mind's at right now, and be present in the moment and can reconnect with your inner self. It's and a really big thing. The inner self is what's missing. Everybody yeah. looks to the, or so many of of the people today look to to get the approval mm -hmm. of everybody else because they don't know who they are. Mm -hmm. They haven't taken that, that time, those Very missing true. beats, to figure out who they are, what makes them tick. Um, if they get, you know, they post something and 700 people, you know, like that thing, then, okay, that's the way I'll be. Because mm -hmm. they're validating it. Exactly, exactly. Which, is not, which is not who they are or, or they're probably not even comfortable with 